Hey there, Rusty Simmers. It's your girl, AJ, about to launch a brand new series. The series is called Grilled Cheese. Yes, please. So what you're looking at here is a house that I built last year sometime, maybe last summer. I call it the butter house for obvious reasons, but I've had to modify it. And so it's not as beautiful as it was before I started hacking it to death. And I'll explain to you why I had to modify this house. I'll explain to you uh, the cheese factor. I'll explain to you who these characters are. But first, I want to introduce myself. I am Adrian, also known as AJ, and I my franchise is Rusty Sims. Rusty Sims are series dedicated to the lives of elder Sims. I have to admit that when I used to play Sims, and I've played Sims for decades now, um, I would always kind of move the elder Sims out of the house when they were no longer of use to me in the gameplay. And that was because they tend to be uh, irritating the extra in the house. And so when you have young adults and adults who are having children, who are raising children, who are going to work, who are going out on dates, having extra elder sims hanging around is kind of irritating it because you kind of want to move on with your generation if you like to play generations, which I do. So up until recently, I would move them out of the house or I would just not play them, not select them, or just wait until they died. And another annoying thing is that when they die, your Sims mourn them, whether they knew them or not, and, and it's like a three-day mourn, and it's just really, really very frustrating. But then I started this Focus on Elder Sims, which I call Rusty Sims, and it has really given me an appreciation for that last bit of Sim life, the Elder Sims cycle, and how fun it can be to play Elder Sims and how cool their lives are. And so some of the series I've created are about uh, Sims raising their grandchildren, Sims trying to become extreme sports enthusiasts, Sims uh, travel Sims, Sims going back to college after retirement. And it's actually been really fun for me to explore, to try different things, and to just come up with really funny and fun ideas. So I came upon this idea, which is the grilled cheese aspiration and that's what I'm going to start today. This is episode one and we'll keep playing this until our sims pass on to the next life. So here is an introduction of our sims. This guy is Gordon Blue. He is a restaurateur. He just opened a cheese related restaurant and we'll get to see him engage in that a little bit later and this is arabica baines now Arab arabica's goal is to run the coffee bar at the restaurant and to become really a coffee connoisseur and um gordon's goal is to obtain the cheese aspiration now if you look here you can say well that's the master chef aspiration, and you would be correct, it is. However, if you follow certain steps, you will have the opportunity to adopt the cheese aspiration and then become a, a master cheese monger. So I think the level is uh, master, master Munster. Sorry, my tongue just got caught up in that. That was wild, wild trip from my mouth. But um, there are multiple levels. I believe there are three levels. We're going to get through all of those levels. And our, our goal for this game is to get Gordon to be the head cheese. See what I did there? Um, before he dies. And also to deepen his relationship with Arabica. Hopefully they'll get married in the series. Which is not to say they're going to get married anytime in the first five episodes. But as we go along, and hopefully we'll get to about 20 episodes before they pass on. But as we get along, hopefully they will get a little closer. Now, what I've done to help myself out for the cheese aspiration is I have a cheese themed restaurant, as I said, and you'll get to see the restaurant soon. I have created a cheese club 
which you can see here, holy cheesemongers, and these are the cheese heads here, and they love grilled cheese, uh-huh, they love to eat, they love to drink coffee, they love to cook, and they like a little bit of romance, because who doesn't like a little bit of romance? And so what they don't like, what they will not handle in their club meetings is they don't grill, because you can't grill grilled cheese, right? You can only cook it on a stove. And they don't steal, because grill and steal are good things not to do when you're in a club. So you'll see the holy cheesemongers get together. I'm not going to have them get together now, but you'll see a gathering. Oh, and also... Their club location is at any restaurant in Sims World. So they will possibly meet at Gordon's restaurant, which is called the Cube with a Q, or they'll meet at some other restaurant. And we don't really have control over which restaurant the club meeting will take place, but wherever it is, it will have a stove. We will make some grilled cheese. We will talk about some grilled cheese and we'll have a good, good cheese time. So the fact that the restaurant is grilled cheese themed, the fact that uh, Gordon's aspiration is to be a chef, and the fact that we've got the Holy Cheesemongers Club will all aid toward getting him that Master Munster uh, level that he is seeking to get. Now, Arabica Baines, let's see where she is. She's right here. Good. She's secondary because I think I will have to pay, pay so much attention to this cheese aspiration that she may get a little lost in the shuffle. Doesn't mean we don't love her. It just means that, you know, she's just a secondary character. But she's dressed like a little cheese, so I appreciate that. She is Gordon's uh, love interest. I wouldn't say girlfriend at this time, but my hope is that they will get together very soon. And her aspiration is, of course, coffee. She is, her aspiration is Master Chef too, but she's more interested in the mixology side than in the chef side. So we'll work on her a little bit, not, uh -oh, not a whole bunch, but we'll focus primarily on Gordon's life. Now, why did I hack this house, house to death? Well, I will tell you why. This house is exactly 100 tiles. If you've played Sims for a while and you have eco life, you know tiny living is a big deal in the Sims. And there are three levels of tiny living and the largest tiny house is 100 squares. So this two-story house is 100, exactly 100 squares, but I had to hack away some of it. Um, so if you were to look at this in the gallery and it's called Butter House, you would see a much nicer abode than you see here. But when you have a tiny house, your skills increase faster. So this house should help both Gordon and Arabica achieve their goals a little bit faster than normal. And so I'll try to keep this tiny house going as long as I can so that they can take advantage of that skills boost. So I think that is all the background information you need at this time. I'm ready to play. I hope you're ready to watch. I thank you for coming aboard and let's play. It is Tuesday at 12 p.m. Uh, Gordon probably should go out to the restaurant. So let's do that. We're going to open the cube. Oh, the cube is, uh, oh no, it's got a lot of money. Okay, so he can go to the, I thought he was going to go to the restaurant. Where is he? Okay, he's going to go to the restaurant or he's going to read a book. Actually, I'm going to start off the cheese aspiration and the way that you start it off according to Ultimate Sims Guide is by eating three grilled cheeses in a row. So, let's have him serve some grilled cheese for lunch. No computer. It's all about the cheese, my friend. And here's the travel button to the restaurant, which he will go to in a little while, but I want to kickstart this cheese aspiration. Oh, I think I wanted him to cook a lot of cheese, and he's only going to cook the one. Oh, well. The goal for today is to eat three grilled cheeses. And this restaurant, I think, is not doesn't have customers and is not making any profits so we're going to want to get over there as quickly as possible 
but cheese first. Oh, good. He did have make a, a plate full of cheese. Okay. So normally I would invite uh, Arabica to partake in the grilled cheese because she's a cheese club member. But because I want to kickstart it, I'm, I'm just going to get him. And she's asleep somewhere upstairs. Yeah, she's upstairs asleep. So we're not going to bother her. This is all about Gordon and his grilled cheese sandwiches. What time is it? Okay, restaurant could still be open. No problem there. Except that it's not making any money and it has just the... Is this a star or is this like the star they're going to be taking away from you? I don't know. Boy, Gordon is really lighting into that cheese sandwich, isn't he? Aw, oh, drat, the welcome wagon's here. We're just trying to have a cheese sandwich, people. That's disgusting. Ah, uh, okay, let's have a third cheese sandwich. Yes. Eat that cheese. Who's that? Oh, hey there, lady. She looks familiar. I think I might know her. Where is she going? Oh, Nina Angiano. Yeah, we know her. What is this guy dressed as? Is he like waste management or something? Oh, he's a, some sort of inspector? Who's this guy? What in the world is going on here, folks? Okay, neighbor. NAP inspector. I mean, I guess he could invite, invite people in, but I hope he'll finish that cheese sandwich first. Yes, good. So, he's new to the neighborhood. Ah, oh, he didn't finish the cheese sandwich. No, finish your cheese. Okay, I'm going to have to get him to finish that cheese. Ah, oh, drat. Toilet's right here. Toilet's right here. Okay. Arabica is up so she can greet the neighbors. Uh, instead, she's out. Uh, okay, let's pay this guy off. I don't, I don't remember seeing one of those guys in the game. Where is she? Okay, Arabica's going to go and try to pay off the NAP guy. I don't know what an NAP is. I've never seen that before. But uh, Nina Anguiano is actually the granddaughter of a pair, Lucia and Marco, who are in a different series in Rusty Sims. And theirs is, of course, called the Anguianos. I think she's a celebrity, so we'll get to know her. Uh, ask for a picture. Okay, now Gordon should be done with that third cheese sandwich, maybe? No? Grab a serving. Can't get rid of this pot of whatever it is. Is this his third cheese sandwich? Yeah, no kidding, dude. Oh, she's nice enough to clean up. Okay, I'm going to close the restaurant down. And we didn't make any money. Ooh, we lost money, and we need to uh, get our employees trained a little bit, so we'll do that. But for now, I just want him to initiate that cheese uh, aspiration. He's hungry? Seriously, he just ate 480 uh, cheese sandwiches. I don't 
Oh, it's excellent cheese. Okay, we don't know who she is, and, and we're not going to go partying just yet. <laughs> but we can chat with Arabica. Now, I think both of them are dance machines, so they've got that in common. Okay, he you smelt it, dealt it, my friend. Oh, why does it say we need a sink? We have a sink. Why can we not use it? Totally can't use Okay. Hmm, that's weird. I'm going to have to look into that. But I just wanted to bring uh, attention to the fact that he's got a little, little pizza guy there, which I think is adorable. All right, Gordon. Hmm. Right, just keep eating that cheese, my friend. Okay, he is lacking in fun. And also, who's this guy? He doesn't like us, but he wants to hang around on our computer? No, we don't think so. Can we kick, kick him out? Well, not without making friends. Okay, fine. Yeah, okay. And then she's going to order some earbuds so that we can get old Cheesehead's uh, fun up. Dude, don't sit in front of the... Uh, Okay, hopefully her doing something will get him off the computer and preferably out of the house. There's a creepy guy in the house on the computer. Why are you here? What are you eating? And also, I forgot, we don't have a trash can in here, but we could put one, not in the bathroom. Well, we could put one on the porch here. That's close, right? I don't seem to be able to throw this pot of beans away. I don't know why. Where's Gordon? Is he still eating grilled cheese? I think he's had more than one grilled cheese. <gasps> there it is. There it is, we did it, woohoo! Grilled cheese aspiration. So here we go, with the three aspirations, you can switch back and forth at will and you won't lose progress on this. Um, he doesn't lose an aspiration to gain the grilled cheese aspiration. It is just an addition to some aspirations that he has. So, Gouda Greenhorn is level one. He has to talk to three cents about grilled cheese. He has to eat 10 grilled cheese sandwiches. We can totally do that. Okay, it is 8 o'clock at night. It's a good idea for him to go to bed. But before he goes to bed, I think we can talk to this strange guy about grilled cheese. And you know why? Because nobody asked this guy to stay here. He's practically moved in. So if he's here, then he gets to talk about grilled cheese. Hmm. So, so, dude, how do you like your grilled cheese? I love it that Arabica is dancing. She's a dancing queen. Didn't we ask this guy to go home? Yeah, it's very nice. Goodbye. Howdy, dude. Okay, so he is out. Gordon is tired, and let's get him to go to sleep. Now, there's only one bedroom in this house, but how about a disco nap? 
since he and Arabica are only slightly attracted to each other, they can't exactly sleep in the same bed yet. We'll work our way up to that. But I want to go ahead and get Gordon to go to sleep. And this is where I'm going to end this episode. And also, the thing I forgot to tell you is Rusty Sims series air generally one episode per week. And there are usually about three series, three or four series going on at the same time, just in case you're interested. If you go to the Rusty Sims channel, you can select the series that you're interested in and watch that weekly. This one's going to be different because I'm just going to play this at will. So you may see, you know, two or three episodes dropped or you might see a couple of weeks go by before you see another episode. Just roll with it. This is a special series, so I'm going to treat it a little differently. If you prefer the regularly scheduled series, this might not be the series for you. But if you like to just pile through a series from beginning to end, you might enjoy this grilled cheese. Yes, please. And that is where I leave you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you're excited about cheese and just really enthusiastic about this challenge. I will say that if you think I'm not going to get through this series without a million cheese buns, you are sadly mistaken, my friend. Rock on, cheese heads. Rock on.